Happy Friday, Wildcats! Welcome back to a great day of learning and ending a great week of learning. Uh, today, today is the last day of midterms as far as what you can turn in, and midterm grades are going to be posted next Friday about 420. Um, so you can have those. Uh, it's going to be a, a great week next week. We have Valentine's Day on Tuesday. And some of you will be tempted to bring in very big teddy bears and gifts for your significant other. We allow that, although we do ask that if the teddy bears or whatnot are huge, we just put them in my office for the day, come back down and get them at the end of the day. No big deal, but just know that next week when you bring in these large displays of your affection that we would ask that you leave the bigger ones down in my office. Uh, there are four chairs here and all the, you know, they can all sit in my office for the day. All right. So uh, today uh, we're going to uh, learn uh, at our, our Black History Month slide about Ruby Bridges. I'm going to uh, email your teachers a, a three minute video that we I, last time I put in a slide. It didn't come out as well. Um, so we're going to email that uh, to extend our knowledge of Ruby Bridges for today. So I'm excited. So let's get to our announcements. All right, today is Friday, this is February the 10th, 2000, 2023. These are your morning announcements. Westlake Middle School is an avid school-wide site of distinction. The mission of Westlake Middle School is to reveal the genius of each Wildcat through a culture of joy, respect, and excellence. We believe every walk, every person, every Wildcat deserves to be seen, affirmed, and to grow. All right, let's get Wildcat ready. Our lanterns and IDs are around our necks. Our binders and our agenda books are with us. Our backpacks, fanny packs, and purses are in our locker. Hats, sunglasses, and hoods are off. AirPods and any other listening device you have, including over-the-ear headphones and phones, are in our lockers. Blankets, stay at home. Take a look at today's schedule. We have periods 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 in between two advisories. All right, clean up West Lane. Again, making sure our cafeteria... Our classrooms and our restrooms um, are uh, clean. Also, eighth grade gentlemen, you uh, obviously noticed that your bathrooms are closed off. Here's why. Because we have too many boys coming into the bathroom in passing period just to mess around or film whatever. And your teachers are over it. I'm over it. The custodians are over it because you mess around in there. So... They'll be closed to the end of today. If the havoc continues to happen, and you know we have cameras on everywhere to kind of see who's going in there, then what we'll start doing is we'll close them off for a week at a time, and we will actually start giving out the names of people who keep going in there and ruining for the rest of us. And I will say them on announcements. And maybe your peers can stop you from acting like fools in the restroom. Seventh graders, you're on deck on this. Seventh graders, you're next. If it continues to happen, especially our boys' restroom, if we can't go in there just to use the restroom and not mess around, it's going to be starting closed off. And where do you go in between? you got to pass to the nurse. What happens if i got to go to the restroom during passing period? You'll have to go elsewhere. And if you're tardy, we'll start giving you detention. So it would be easier if you just respected our restrooms and then not had an issue. So I'm telling you right now, and I'm talking to my gentleman, Talking to my young boys, if this is going to be a you don't have it, you will it'll, you'll start getting the convenience of a restroom right by you will be over. Now, ladies, we have not had an issue yet. I'm not even going to talk to you. Thank you for what you uh, for respecting our restrooms. If it becomes an issue, though, they yeah, will do the same thing. But it hasn't been so far. It's been a gentleman issue only. So let's clean that up, or else we're going to be continuing to do this. And we have plenty of gates that we can do to close off restrooms. Thank you. On time every time. That is Wildcat time. We need to be on time to every class. Okay, we're on time to every class. We'll continue to do the door locking, going to the cafetorium, getting detention. If this is going to be an issue until your parents start walking you around class to get you on time. And trust me, your parents do not want to do that. All right, our fire and ice. Uh, I had some sixth grader yesterday call it the icy hot dance. It is the fire and ice dance. Uh, we, it is the 24th 
uh, beginning Monday and Sunday night. We'll start telling you how much it's going to be and what you get for the co- for the cost of admission. It is sponsored by the West Lane PTO. Yearbook time. Yearbooks are thirty dollars, and the payment is due by February the twenty eighth. Time's running out. Our first annual winner, softball clinic by the sectional champion North Central Panthers, is February nineteenth and twenty sixth. Uh, registration go to go wtll dot org. Session one registration closes next Thursday. Also next Thursday, there is a meeting at North Central for the choir call outs if you want to be a high school choir. Again, that's seven o'clock next week at North Central. If you're interested in auditioning for a North Central choir, that is Tuesday, February 28th after school. Please see Mr. A if you're interested. All right, celebrating Black History Month, past, present, and future. Got a couple of things we want to talk about today. And first off is Ruby Bridges. The Life of an Impactor by Connor Gree Wonk. Ruby Bridges was an impactor. She had gone to an all-white school to stop segregation in schools, and she has helped many others and continues to inspire others. People think this happened a long time ago. She was born in 1954, and her full name is Ruby Nell Bridges Hall. Now, Connor, uh, she's currently an author, and Connor did the job, and he uh, he gave us a short video. I'm going to send this to your teacher so you can watch it about Ruby Bridges, but it's a very impactful life. And I know sixth grade has often read stories of Ruby Bridges uh, going to school. This is just an add on with the video. Again, I'm sending this out to your teachers and you will watch it right after announcements. All right, today is the last day for Best Buddies to be selling cookie grams. They'll be sold February 7th through the 10th at lunch. And I really appreciate everybody who's done this because I think yesterday they ran out of their initial stock of red um candy grams and went to the white paper but you'll receive them on the 14th at the end of the day during advisory cookies will be a dollar cookie gram you can buy one for your friend your teacher your awesome counselors your amazing assistant principals your pal your principal um or your secret crush or even yourself you sign your name or you can keep it anonymous and tomorrow is the last day to do this because they got to get them all ready on monday and then they'll deliver them tuesday all right, it's National School Counselor Week. We have uh, highlighted it's been a great week. Um, please, if you have one more chance, send Mr. Bostic, Mr. Hughes, or Ms. Patzel a note of appreciation from your Canvas page. You can also write him a note and drop it off from Mrs. Um, Anderson. All right, this is the weekend. We have the Philadelphia Eagles from the NFC and the Kansas City Chiefs from the AFC. Your teachers received this morning a Google form one per advisory class so if you do put in another one teachers i'm going to go with the second one uh what we'll do so all you're going to do and this is i'm going to bring a a two dozen donuts on monday the the i'm just going to give them to whoever gets closest so here's what's going to happen you are going to tell me how many points the philadelphia eagles are going to score and how many points the kansas city chiefs are going to score all right, so one of you, so whoever gets it closest to each one uh, on their paper and also has the correct winner will be, or on their form will be the winner. The tiebreaker will go, who is going to be the MVP? So if you think the Chiefs are going to win and you think Travis Kelsey is going to be the MVP, you would put that the Chiefs have a certain score over the Eagles. So I'm going to take whoever has all the winning team first and then the points closest to and the correct MVP will get uh, will get our thing. Now, the, the issue is going to be some of you are going to be thinking the Eagles are going to win, and some of you are going to think the Chiefs are going to win. So you've got to kind of come up with a class, like discuss. You might think even vote on who you think is going to win or who you want to win, and the winning advisory will get donuts on Monday. It'll be a Monday donut day after Super Bowl Sunday. So Monday donuts, Super Bowl Sunday, um, and also, too, like, let's talk about Black History Month as well. This is the first time in the history of the Super Bowl two black quarterbacks have played each other in the Super Bowl. So I actually have a bonus question for you. And this will get treats on Monday if you tell me these three things. Who was the first black quarterback to play in the Super Bowl? What team did he play on? Did he win? And does that team still have the same name? Because it was a while ago. So who was the first black quarterback to ever play in the Super Bowl? 
What team was he on? Did that team win? And what is the team called now? It's a four-part question. So again, four parts. All right, you can rewind and listen if you're I'll say it again. Who is the first black quarterback to play in the in the Super Bowl? What team was he on? That's part two. Did he win? That's part three. And what is the team called now? That's part four. Okay. So this again, this is a historic Super Bowl about like, and I'll have some, we'll have some trivia for next week about the first two black head coaches that went against each other in the Super Bowl. And then we'll talk about the person I just asked about. And then we'll have a little historical perspective on this Super Bowl. So we're very excited. And then we'll also send some pieces out. The teachers be looking for that. Uh, you look for that in your email. And then remember, I will take the most recent one. Uh, so if you put up two, I'm going to take the one that's time stamped the latest uh, for that, for your advisory. And so we could have advisory donuts. So you can't like tell me on one, I think the Chiefs are going to win and one of the Eagles are going to win. I'm going to take the most recent submission uh, for that. So who's going to win? Um, I know a couple of advisories are going to be heavy on the Chiefs because the person in there is a big Chiefs fan. And also, she gets mad at me for saying, fly, Eagles, fly in the cafeteria. So who's going to win the Super Bowl this week? All right, breakfast students, you must report directly to the cafeteria off the bus to get breakfast. And all cell phones are in your locker between 9.15 and 4.15. They'll be taken if they're seen or heard. And don't forget our motto, every Wildcat, every day, gets better. So let's have a great Friday, everybody. Have a fantastic weekend. It's Super Bowl weekend. So I don't know how many people watch Super Bowl, but I do. I enjoy it. All right. See you, everybody.